Hey guys, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. So here's the problem with narcissism. It's not actually narcissism that's the main problem. The main problem is that those of us who don't have narcissistic personality disorder or symptomology thereof, constantly like, uh, I don't wanna say this, but I do, complain about the way a narcissistic person acts. Um, they're gonna act in ways that are narcissistic because they're narcissistic. So, you know, a tree is gonna be a tree. <laughs> A dog is going to be a dog. I mean, that's that's just how it is. So when we sit around and we say things like, oh, you know, my husband did this or my wife did that or whatever, what we're what we're saying in effect in effect is this person is being the way they are. They're being a tree. They're a tree. And I want that person to be an apple or and I won't even say that because an apple can come from a tree and so that's too closely related so let's say I want him to be a skyscraper building but he's a tree and he keeps acting like a tree and I'm so mad that he's a tree and like a week later and a month later and a year later and a decade later and two decades later we're still complaining that the tree is a tree and we want the tree to be a skyscraper so instead of complaining about and constantly um, you know quoting and you know putting it on social media, like my, my end did this and my end did that. Yeah, they're going to do ineffective coping skills because that's what they do. They have built up, you know, a, um, a system of ineffective coping skills to protect them from them, their self, basically, and their, uh, their feelings that they feel um, in dealing with themselves. So instead of constantly complaining that this tree is a tree and I want this tree to be a skyscraper instead. Instead, what we can do is we can look at our own self and say, why do I get so upset about it? Why do I get so upset that this person is a tree? Why can't I just let that person be? Why can't I just say, all right, cool, go be a tree, but be a tree over there because I need to take care of me and I don't need trees in my life. So when we do that, when we just separate it and we say, you know what? You, you are who you are. You, you act in the way that you act. I understand that. I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. So I'm going to separate myself from you. That's what we got to look at, like our own self. Why do I keep tangling myself up in the mess? Why do I keep doing it? There's a, a, a saying right now. It's going around Facebook. Yes, I'm old. I use Facebook. Um, I suppose it could be going around all the others, Insta and so forth. But... Um, it's, you know, instead of, instead of, you know, asking why somebody is a clown, instead ask ourselves why we go to the circus. So that's true in this case as well. Like if we're complaining that something is the way it is and we don't like it, then why do we continue to participate in it? And I know some people are going to think, well, you know, I'm married to that or I, I'm in love with that or whatever. We have a thousand reasons. There's finances, there's kids, there's um, all different kinds of reasons why. But the simple fact of the matter is, um, at the end of the day, like here's my heart, right? <laughs> and here's like a, a boundary around it. It's like a, um, a fence or a, not like a brick wall or anything, but there's a boundary around my heart because my job as I journey through this earth and I live in this, this skin of mine, you know, I have a heart, I have a soul, I have a spirit, I have this stuff that I'm responsible for. So I'm responsible for what I do with my heart. And so if I, take my heart and then I hand it to somebody who I know doesn't have the skills or even maybe the desire or the ability to take care of my heart and I hand it to them and I say here take care of my heart and then they do something to damage my heart at some point I need to say okay <laughs> you don't get that anymore you know and be able to say that you know it's my job it's my job to set that boundary around my heart so that my heart is protected because at the end of the day, the, the, the problem with us just allowing constantly, constantly, constantly going back and like believing the empty promises, believing the I'm sorry, is believing the whatever, what, what I'm doing is like I'm blindly, willfully participating in the destruction to my own heart. And when my heart is destroyed, then I am unable to show up in the world and show up and be present with my children, with my friends, with my, my other family, my, with people who want to 
engage with me in a healthy way. I'm therefore I'm not un, I'm I'm unable unable to do it anymore. I can say that. Um, so then my broken heart is like damaged and bruised and destroyed, and I'm still trying to go through and like fake it in life. Well, what happens when we go through and we fake things in life, and we just show up like with this mask of oh I'm okay everything's great, or we show up pretending that you know what's going on is really not going on. I'm really not handing my heart over to somebody who's who's abusing it. I'm not doing that. And I'm faking it, right? Then we're not authentic. Okay, so then we end up feeling empty and broken and hollow because we're expecting something, you know, from the environment that we're not getting. And we're being fake with it and with all the people in it anyway so that we don't feel real. And then what does that do? It contributes to our depression, right? So we keep going down, down, down with our depression because we've actively participated in handing our heart over to somebody who doesn't need it or doesn't want it or isn't ready to receive it. Now, taking your heart back and learning how to protect it is hard because it's a pattern already. It's, it's a habit, but it's necessary. It's a necessary step in order to regain our own sense of sanity Um, confidence and a sense of control and I don't mean like controlling everything and everybody around us but I mean controlling like our own self and how I show up in the world and how I present myself to other people and how how I achieve my goals how I feel every day do I feel beaten down and rejected and like I have to constantly earn somebody's love because when that happens all I'm doing is handing my broken heart back to the same person who broke it and then I'm expecting a different result I'm expecting them to prepare my heart and give me the um, the love and the affection that I need. When all along, that's just a backwards way of thinking. So if you have a narcissist in your life, please quit, take the focus off of them. Take the focus off of them. It's not about them. Let them go do what they want, right? Let, go be a narcissist. Do your narcissist thing. That's great. Take care of you. Focus on you. And how do I protect my heart? And how do I set a boundary around my heart? How do I show up authentically? How do I, <clears throat> excuse me, how do I wake up in the morning and know that, you know, I'm an authentic person? Whoever meets me is going to meet the true me. They're going to be really authentically, they're going to have an authentic encounter with me because I show up fully who I am. This is who I am and I'm not hiding anything. I'm not trying to bury um, this secret about me being stupid and handing my heart over to somebody who's going to break it again. So I hope that helps. I know my views on narcissism aren't widely um, loved and accepted. I do think it's trauma-based. I do think that there's um, a different level besides, you know, they're, they're evil and horrible and, and let's go uh, gray rock and all that. I, I, don't, I don't really agree with a lot of the stuff that's out there in popular culture about this, but um, I, I do want to send the message that, you know, we have more power than what we think we have when we're dealing with a narcissist. We do have more power. So I want you to post your comments, even if you're disagreeing with me. I like hate mail sometimes, you know, it's fun. But anyways, um, you can post your comments, um, questions below, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching.